Good morning, tea sippers. Happy Wednesday. It is almost the end of March. I cannot believe how fast March went, but I hope you guys are doing good today. I just want to come on here and tell everyone thank you so much for attending my green room yesterday. We had close to 2,000 people in the house, and I just really appreciate just all of the love, the dialogue, regardless of what side of the fence that you stood on. You know, people had their opinions, but we were able to keep it respectful. I just want to thank all you guys not only the people who called in the folks who raised their hand and weren't able to get through also the people in the chat i just want to thank y'all for just showing that we can have intelligent dialogue fun dialogue and just keep it real and i really appreciate y'all this is what my green room is about it's about calling in and me getting the chance to interact with you guys and hear y'all's opinions and things like that as much as you all support me i love hearing from you guys so once again thank you um these are just the highlights it was a three-hour conversation last night. Um, I appreciate y'all staying up and, you know, talking to me. But these are some of the highlights from the three-hour conversation. So please enjoy this video. And if you want to listen to the full episode, just go to Anchor. Anchor is free. Or else you can listen to it on Apple, Spotify, Google, any of the mainstream podcasting platforms. I'm on all of them. So once again, thank you guys so much for the support and enjoy your day. Deuces. so much for tuning in tonight i see y'all rocking out in the chat i hope everybody's doing good today i had to do this green room when everything went down with the slap heard around the world on sunday i'm like i'm gonna do a live stream monday and then tuesday i definitely want to open up you know what i'm saying the floor to get everyone's opinion regardless of what side of the fence you stand on you could be team will and jada you could be team chris rock that is everybody's opinion. That is everybody's right on who they want to support and, and all that stuff. So this is not a, you have to agree with me. Y'all know where I stand per my live stream yesterday, but you guys are free to have y'all's own opinions on the situation. But I want to hear from people because this entire, damn it, the, the pursuit of slappiness has gotten out of control. Okay, can I get an amen? Right now, as of 10 minutes ago, O.J. Simpson is literally on Twitter ranting. Talking about, you know, back in my day, I wanted to slap a few people. I want to slap a few comedians. I'm like, sir, do you mean stab? I think you mean stab. <laughs> I don't think you mean slap, O.J. I think you mean stab. So he's wilding out on Twitter with his own little commentary child. And then somebody don't went and, and call Will Smith's mama. I said, what is this? Is this Bel Air Prep Academy? Why are we calling a 52-year-old man's mama, honey? The news done showed up at her house and they want to know what's the tea. Why did your son slap Chris Rock? And the mama's like, I, I don't know. I've never seen Will like this. He's never been the aggressor. I said, why are y'all harassing this man's mother? Okay. I mean, the jokes just write themselves. I'm <laughs> and then you got Jada coming out. Tell them out. I'm here for all the, you know, the peace and love. Oh, now you want peace and love, huh? After you done hyped him up, you done hyped up Will to go smack the shit out of Chris Watt. Now you want peace and love. Now it's num you go hang go kio. I'm like, oh my gosh, today has been a mess on social media, child. I cannot keep up with the stories. And then they just came out and said about two, three hours ago that they're gonna address all of this. All this drama. They're not going to let a, a crisis go to waste, honey. They're going to address all of this on the Red Table Talk, like I said on my live stream. I said, watch, they're going to bring this to the Red Table Talk. So at this point, I don't know if this was staged, if this was real, because it's just so much happening. And I'm like, I wonder what we're being distracted from. 
Because everything trending at this point in time is Will Smith, Chris Rock, Jada Pinkett. I mean, the whole thing is just insane. But like I said, I want to hear from the people. I want to know y'all's thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. This is the green room. Raise your hand if you want to speak. I'm going to go ahead and bring you on. Let me but first, I don't think it was real. I mean, I think for multiple reasons that it was staged. We were in a room full of actors. Let's keep that straight. All Oscar nominated, and Will is a really good actor. And I think if you really pay attention, Pfizer sponsors the Oscars. They're one of the biggest sponsors. And they are on the third stages of testing for alopecia, you know, to stop it from happening. And what does mm-hmm. everybody talk about? The slap. Why the slap? Because he made a joke about Jada's alopecia. So I believe, you know, knock if you buck, if you're going to get up on stage, if you're going to come with that energy as an audience or as a member in the crowd, be prepared for the hands that you might get. Now everyone is turning the other cheek. Me personally, I'm not control in that kind of way. So <laughs> you might get popped. Right. But that's all okay. I have to say to you. I appreciate you. Definitely. Thank you, Aaron, for calling in. But there are two things that I want to point out quickly. And the first thing is the hypocrisy that I see on social media, whether it is amongst the star or whether it is amongst everybody, basically. Um, how many people are under your comments, the acting a fool, calling you out, insulting you, calling you out names? They are on the shade room, baller alert, talking about people's body parts, comparing them to animals, calling them out. But the same people over there saying, Chris Rock was wrong. Chris Rock should have not said that. Chris Rock talk about a woman's hair. But all of those people are doing all of those things for free. How many times have they talked about your hair, see? How many times mm-hmm. have they talked about your body parts, see? How many times have mm-hmm. they talked about um, Harry Fletcher, they compare her to whatever animals after her surgery or at, well, she said she didn't get any surgery. But Everything that Chris Rock did, while he's getting paid million to do it, might I add, but you guys are for free. I'm doing it for free online. But everything that Chris Rock did while doing his job, you guys are doing a thousand times are doing a thousand times worse online. But it's okay for you guys. And when someone call you out, what do you guys say? It is my opinion. I am entitled to my opinion. You guys cannot do anything for my opinion. But you guys are sitting here criticizing. But you guys are sitting here criticizing Chris Rock for having an opinion. Oh, Mardell, the K do with the fact. <laughs> so silly. Because I do believe they put out not all the way true narratives. And me and my coworkers were just discussing. Like, I don't know how all the way true the alopecia narrative is like i don't see somebody getting upset over that joke to the degree that he did like to me it came up as if and i don't want to wish it on her as if it was something more serious than alopecia um what i want to add is i just didn't like the fact that people were upset that he defended his wife i mean if you feel that is that is fake or is real that's that's your opinion but mm-hmm. the fact that you literally have men like Plies and so many other men saying that, oh, I'm not going to defend my I'm not going to defend someone that's I'm just not going to defend a woman that that that's messing around with somebody else. And it's like, y'all do realize that this is his wife. At the end right. of the day, it was his wife. You feel me? And mm-hmm. you have so many people going out of their way saying that, you know, Jada is messing this man up mentally. And she probably could be. But. Where's that same grace to women like Rashida and Kurt? You know, I'm just saying, like, why is it that why is it that men get grace and women don't? Are you talking about because of like how Kirk was doing Rashida with all the cheating and the disrespect? Exactly. You should still hold him down and he's just going through a crisis. You right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Everyone's talking about, well, Jada's out here embarrassing Will. And it's like, well, shit, Kirk has been embarrassing Rashida for how long? Mm -hmm. And Rashida is supposed to sit back and hold him down because his mama told him that he got a big old head and the three earrings. But (laughs) (laughs) but but Jada sits back and she messes up with August, and now all of a sudden, oh, Will needs to leave Jada, and Jada ain't ain't shit. And it's like, well, I mean, I guess like the, I guess I guess the saying is true, you know, it ain't no fun when the rabbit get has the gun. 
You know, so. and that's what I said. You know, when the when everything first came out with August, when everybody was like, "She's a whore," and you know, she's ruining her marriage. I'm like, hold up now, y'all are acting like Will's a saint. He's just more sneaky with his. But exactly. he got a side thing too. But nobody really, besides me and maybe a few others, ever addressed Will's side chick, the little Latina. He be running around with with the same damn background. When he in Egypt, she in Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> she she's exactly. at the damn pyramids. He's at the damn pyramids. Like, come on now. <laughs> right. She's at the bus stop and he's down the street from the bus stop. <laughs> right. Right. You know, you so know, but I think I think they both have contributed to where they're at as far as public perception. I don't think yes. it's all Jada. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's Jada, Jada's ruining him. I feel like they're both chatty patties. To the point mm-hmm. when the internet has to basically en- enact a petition on change.org to get the both of y'all to shut up. Y'all are doing too much chat. I yes, and I do got in that petition. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I do agree that Jada was very sloppy because I feel like if she wanted to get some pain, cool. She wanted some young pain, cool. But out of all the people, why would you do it with August? Because let's yes, remember, friend. August... And, you know, August, exactly. August was going through so much at that time. He was sick. He had a, he had to adopt his brother's kids because his brother's kid, his brother died. And mm-hmm. you decided to take advantage of this, of this young man. And he trauma bonded. Mm. He trauma, he trauma bonded, you know, and then That's also right. you got to also remember, like you said, you know, what was she telling him? Like you say, I'ma leave Will. I'ma leave Will. I'ma I'm leave, I'm 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 leave Will. I'ma leave Will. I'ma leave Will. Right. You know, because when people are getting it in and it, you know, this new cooch and new dick, people say all types of stuff. You the best I ever had. Yeah. You the biggest. You the you the best. And then when they break up, his dick was small. Well, you wasn't saying that when you first met him and couldn't stop riding it. I'm just saying. <laughs> exactly. So I feel like for got up and did what he did. At the end of the day, I'm not condoning the violence, but I understand as someone that's much older, that's how men back in the day used to get down. So I don't know if this is a resurgence of that coming back again. I have no idea. (laughs) I know that people keep saying it's toxic masculinity and all the rest of the stuff in a world that we're living in where men are women, women are men. Everybody's taught you you need to be, you know, more fit. It's it's a crazy world that we're living in. And at some point, you will have a crazy reaction as we saw at the Oscars. But to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. At the end of the day, these are rich people. They get down with some crazy stuff in the background. So to be honest with you, I'm sure Chris and Will have made up, most probably kissed each other in their funky sort of like, you know, crazy shit that they do back in the, in the back scenes. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I just think that this thing is is spiraling a bit out of control with people saying, oh, what if it had been Betty White that had made the joke? He could have hit her. She could have fallen back, hit her head and killed. I mean, I've heard some crazy yeah. stuff about this the whole reaching little... is crazy. Yeah, it the is. reaching is like it's it's a bit much at this point. It is. It really is. At the end of the day, you know, and I've, I mean, I watched something today where they were saying this is black on black violence that's getting out of control. I mean, for crying out loud, you know, <laughs> it's, it's it's insane. You know, and they said, it, you know, what if this mm. is the tip of the iceberg? Like we don't know what mental state he is is in. Just like Robin Williams. That man was the funniest comedian I've ever seen. And Mm -hmm. we were all shocked when he ended up, you know, taking his own life. What if this -hmm. this situation, unfortunately, Chris Rock is in a depressed state and then he goes on stage, you know, he's doing his thing, making people laugh. And then he gets slapped. Everybody making fun of him. And now he just he's gone now. You know, Will Smith doesn't think about things like that. He, he, He wasn't thinking. You know, I understand mm-hmm. that your wife was offended and stuff, but that was a lighthearted joke. Yes, you know, you shouldn't be joking about women's baldness or this or that, but I didn't know she had alopecia. You know, just like everybody said, they they thought it was a, just one of her hairstyles. But as a man, as a professional man, as a businessman, and as someone that you, you know, you see in public every day, like, oh, you know, we meet up and this and that, we see each other at parties, you should have taken him off to the side and, and you know, stated your grievances. That is scripted, but you have to remember Chris Rock and Will Smith, they're not reality stars. So Mm. I don't know. I just think because we're so accustomed to watching reality TV that we think it's scripted. But, you know, 
you can tell that it wasn't scripted because in other countries they completely cut off the broadcast like when that was happening and then you know you saw him cussing and they had to cut the audio you know if that was scripted they wouldn't have done it and it was so kind of sloppy how that happened so i and then you can tell that chris rock was kind of shaken up because he was fumbling his words a little bit he was such in shock i don't think it was fake so, uh you said that she wanted to pull out this table uh for this red table talk right mm-hmm. Uh, I think she needs to put that damn table back. I don't think she needs to do that because every time she pulled this table out, she messed up. They get into some new stuff. She's, uh, they, we learned things about the relationship we didn't know before that we probably shouldn't have known. Um, so I don't think she needs to do that table. I don't think it's a good idea. They need to put it out in the garage and sell it. Um, <laughs> I don't think... garage sale with the red table. <laughs> Well, I think Will is traumatized by this. I, I think mainly, honestly, I don't think he um, went on that stage because of in defense of her technically per se. I mean, damn that alopecia. His his ego was hurt. I don't think no devil was possessing him. I think he was just hurt because for the last two years, um, he's been kind of harassed. Well, not even kind of. He has just been harassed. Ever he was at that table mm-hmm. talking about um, the entanglement uh, with August. In August. But now let's keep it. But let's keep it real, real quick, Elijah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do they not bear some responsibility? Because we, who asked for this? Who asked for them to be like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fucking August. We didn't ask for any of this. Nobody. This is being messy, going, going on a hobo tour, right? You know, trying to low key spill tea. But they could have easily just ignored him and kept living their life. Mm-hmm. But see, what it is is. They're trying to get that red table talk show popping. So it's like, well, let's try, see how we can capitalize on this. And it, black, mm-hmm. it backfired in their face. I just feel like that's what it was. They tried to capitalize on a moment and it didn't work out. Now they want to play victim and cry. But y'all told us all your business. Y'all was sitting there. He was sitting there teary eyed. And she's like, I'm not happy. And I was looking for happiness elsewhere. Right. I mean, they put all their business out there and they didn't need to. This Whether it was fake or real, I don't like the fact that it looked like two black men was emasculated on national television because he didn't hit him. He didn't go up there until his wife gave him that look. And then that's, you know, when she gave him that look, then that's when he reacted. And then you go and slap another man that didn't even do anything. I don't like that narrative. So to me, it just took it a step further. But then you go and slap another man and he does nothing. He just sit there and smile and laugh it off. And the fact that Will came from Egypt, he didn't reach all the way back behind his back and hit this man that hard and he didn't even stagger. He didn't even, you know, flinch. He didn't nothing. Come on now. You, somebody hit you that hard, you don't even stagger. He like didn't I said. He cards as quiet as it's kept. I said, what kind of strong man hands he got? <laughs> he didn't drop not one card. I said, I know that's right, Chris. Not <laughs> one. <laughs> he no. One <laughs> I said, I was like, he ain't flinting. Like, he ain't open to say nothing. Nothing. Like, not even a witch. Nothing. I like it. Will Smith has been a ticking time bomb since 2020, especially with this whole August Alcina thing. But my thing is, you directing your anger at the wrong person, you should have slapped the hell out of August Alcina, not Chris Rock. He, August Alcina was smashing your wife. It wasn't Chris Rock. That and with Jaden, um, Jada Smith's comment, um, oh, tell some, oh, that's how we do it, bro. Having your homeboy smash your mama, that's how you do. You have type, no type of loyalty to your daddy. Like whatsoever. Will Smith initially laughed at the joke. Like I could understand the slap a little bit more if he sat stone faced from the beginning to the end of the joke. Mm -hmm. But he laughed at the joke. Like mouth open, like he was hollering laughing. And then it took for him to look at his wife and realize that she wasn't feeling the joke. And then all of a sudden, now you get up and you want to slap Chris Rock. And then you want to sit back in your chair and you want to yell, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And then you want to get up there and you want to cry and and say, oh, there's only so much a person can take. No, I really feel like he was covering his own ass because he knew that he was going to get in trouble when he got home for laughing at the joke. Like, that's how I really feel about it. I mean, people are saying that it's a cover. Yeah, I do feel like it's a cover. It's a cover for Will because you laughed at this joke. 
we can all agree that he should have not walked up there and slapped the the the, the, the taste out of as Chris Rock's mama Rochelle used to say. <laughs> oh, everybody hates Chris. <laughs> he should have not slapped the taste out of that man's mouth like that in front of all those people. And it's not even about the whole Oscars white people thing. This could have been in front of black folk at the BT Awards. It still was tacky and it still just did not look, you know, good. What I get I feel like the slap to me was giving Rosa de Guadalupe very novella. Oh. It's it seemed very, very like cachetada and very like planned and extra. But what I'm more scared of is not the spicy wh- Spanish. I need a translation. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you said but, say it again and tell us what it means in English. What uh, La Rosa de Guadalupe is the rose of Guadalupe, I guess it's just like this. It's like this. The saint. Telenovela. Okay. Yeah, the like, saint. Like a, it's a, it, okay. It's a, like a, the little Spanish show, the telenovela. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's a telenovela. Okay. It was giving very that. Like, even the way, like, the follow through. Like, I've been slapped and I've slapped people, and it's never like that. Mm-hmm. And I just feel, I just feel like you, we all know that these, like, award shows and like things with the elite there's always some type of i hate to get spooky with y'all but like there's always this weird ritualistic thing that comes out of it child let me just say this team team will team Mm -hmm. slap Team, it is what it is. Team, I sure did. Team, I'm going to jail. Team, and that's on fucking period. Mm. Let me say, let me say this. Maybe because I'm a whole, I got the nerve to be black, gay, and fat, and a man. That my tolerance for bullshit is really low. You're not going to just keep talking to me and disrespecting me. Like words hurt. You can look. You, certain words, I will love you, and certain words, I will hate you. I'm a big I'm, I'm a big opponent of being a bitch where they at. If you disrespect, if you love me, I'ma love you back. If you disrespect me, I'ma disrespect your ass back. Which Chris Rock had no business saying what he said to that woman. He done went up there on that stage a few years ago and dragged the hell out of uh, Will and Jada. He shouldn't even look their way. He attacked and like what what more can a person take? You just can't just understand that it's like violence, it's you know, the condoning violence, yada yada yada. I'm loving what he did. And let me say this to the mama. Because you know, I dragged the um the old and I dragged the young. I'm an equal opportunity book. Uh, you talking about Will's mama? Will's mama. Okay. What what happened? We, Will you mama, you have no business getting your ass up there saying what you said about your son. <laughs> Period. Let me say this. It's one thing. It's one thing. Getting. It's one thing. I have all these motherfuckers, these mush mouth motherfuckers, come out of the woodwork talking shit about me. It's a whole different animal if I'm having my own family disrespect me. Ma, go sit on that lazy boy. Go, go fix you a bowl of cereal, so, you know, uh, uh, some cornflakes. Y'all love cornflakes, right? Go fix you some cornflakes. Go eat some hog head cheese. Turn to CBS. And, you know, he was tired. He's weary. He's tired of the jokes. I wonder if some of these same people were the ones cranking out the memes in 2020 and 2021 <laughs> during the entanglement. Because, you know, the internet, they love to play. I sure was. <laughs> she... Okay. <laughs> I mean, a lot of y'all was cranking out memes. So it's like, well, where did all these memes come from? If you know, if he's so tired, if he's tired, it's because of y'all. He's tired. I'm tired. Shit, you tired? We all tired. <laughs> Fuck. I ain't gonna go over and snag everybody. Like, and then he's all talking about keep my keep my wife's name out your mouth, <laughs> sir. Did you tell August to keep his dick out of her mouth? Yes or no? Because you over here talking about keep my wife's name out your mouth. You need to be talking to my gals. You need to be talking to August. Not Chris. Shoot. Got me fucked up. <laughs> got me fucked up like, like I got smacked. Like, come on, man. You mad for both you and Chris, huh? Shit, I'm mad for me and Chris. And he really lucky that I wasn't on stage because I would have been hitting every single entanglement joke. I'd be sitting over here doing the poses of how August had her ass on that damn bed. You know? Like, you really lucky you didn't slap me or Dave Chappelle or any of these other celebrities because you knew who the hell you could and could not slap. You want to get bucked from your damn seat. 
Because you notice he wasn't screaming all that shit inside that man's face. You know? That's true. And then another thing is like they're talking about Jaden and Jaden's like, and that's how we do it. Sir, that's how you do what? You pass the niggas off to your mom? You record it for her? Like, come on now. Come on now. Because while everybody was talking about Will's protecting his black queen, his woman and everything, but Jada hasn't protected Will at all for the past three years, even to last night. I know for a fact with my wife, if if somebody would have got my goat and I felt like I was getting ready to do something and something that special that night that me and my wife are sharing together, my wife would have been like, hey, not this ain't the time. This ain't the place. We'll handle mm-hmm. it later. You know, you chill out. Don't don't ruin this. Don't let them mess up your time. This is your time to this is our night. You chill. And she didn't do that. Her facial expression made her reaction may will react the way he did and for the past few years will has been slaughtered throughout the entire social media from the memes the jokes all good i mean just think about it if every man i know there's guys in the, in the chat room right now just think about you your significant other you and your significant other had one of the most embarrassing moments you had in your relationship with your significant other. Now imagine the whole world knows it and the whole world keeps humping on it. Every time you get on it, it's, it's a joke. Every time that shit gets to you. I mean, to a man's ego and pride, like them tears that he was on stage. Those are tears of man that is broken and hurt and destroyed for what he had to deal with, dealing with his wife and dealing with the man sleeping with his woman. I mean, it, that shit is, that shit to a man, that can drive a man insane and drive him off the deep end. And the, I remember one, somebody said the bucket was already full. Chris just dropped a, just put a drop over there and it, it spilled over. And that slap he gave to Chris was a slap to the internet, was a slap to the people that made memes and jokes about him and everything. Like Chris was the vessel of all the people that, that critic that, that, that will couldn't get to but chris but chris was that vessel to the people that he could get to when he slapped him that night hey tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast please go to apple Podcasts, spotify google play stitcher tuned in or anchor fm.com which is a free podcasting site thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video